just stopped at this racetrack on my way home from the Watermelon Festival, Franklin County Watermelon Festival. Stopping to get gas and just saw this beside the road here, or beside the gas station. Those are giant mushrooms. I'll put my hand over there so you can see the size of them. That's how big these mushrooms are. Well, I wish I knew enough about mushrooms to tell if these were edible. Because if they are, that'd be a lot of food just sitting here. Here are the big white ones. Some people leave that in the comments. Let me know. Where do I need to go to learn about mushrooms? And which ones are edible and which ones are not? So that's something I would like to, to learn. They're selling gummy sushi in here in the gas station. Gummy sushi and gummy pizza, I think. There's a gummy taco? There is! It's a gummy taco. Do people actually buy these? Wow, okay. Nashville's having some, having a little water break before we get back on the road. Can't have it in there all the time, so it'll splash around. When we stop and get gas, he can, he can have water. He's playing in it. Are you done with the water? No, have a little more. 11.30 in the afternoon on Monday, August 23rd, 2021 makes it the first day of the Appalachian Fair out in Gray, Tennessee. And man, it's good to be back here again. Uh, I'm actually going to be able to stay at my studio while I'm here. Got my usual spot. And it's a 12-foot spot. I always love it when they actually mark out your spot with your company name right there on it. It's very professional. All right. I got two and a half hours to be set up and have the truck moved out to a parking spot. Let's make it happen. Well, it's two o'clock now and I'm completely open. I've actually seen a few people walking around. Have you taken a look at some of these old tractors? The ones that oh have yeah, the... I've walked all around them in years gone by. It's the same ones every year? Same ones every year. They're still, they look like tanks. Those metal treads. A lot of them, the reason why they did that was during World War II. The rubber was so short, they had to come up with ways to, uh, to make tractors without using rubber at all. So they came up with metal tires. But, um, so they came up with metal treads. Yeah. From a rubber shortage. Yeah, during World <laughs> War II. But you got one person behind the glass over here. There's this black rat snake right here. This is a big old black one. Yeah, it's a black rat snake. Oh, no, man. that's a timber rattler. Are you sure? Hold on. Oh, you're right. It says it right or there. pine snake. Is that pine snake? There it says it. Yeah, pine snake. It looks just like a timber rattler, though. Are you sure that is not a rattler? 
Well, there would be a rattle on the back of it, right? Does it have one? It doesn't have the diamond-shaped head either. Oh. Yeah, that's just the corns. Uh, Boy, if I uh, saw that, pine, I would... Pine snake. That would scare me. Yeah, I thought so. It would definitely that. scare me. My, my first instinct would be that's that's a rattler. Uh -huh. But it's not. Mud puppy. Oh, yeah. Salamander. Mud, mud puppy. Mud puppy. Mud puppy. Mud puppy. You ever caught a trout? Never have. I have a couple of times. Have you? Yeah. You have? Mm-hmm. When you cook them up, though, it's best to just cook them and eat the bones and all because there's so many bones in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Just smoke them for a long time. Look, they're actually, look, they're, they're all facing towards you. It's like they're coming to see you. Huh. You, you pointed yeah, at them get, and then they all they face that way. When people come up, it's mostly just large mouth and oh, small mouth, one right? That's not a catfish. There he is over yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Well, there's one right well, there. There's, there's a walleye. Right. Those are rare. What? A walleye behind the log there. This is a walleye, too. Oh, this one down here is a walleye. There, so there's a big snapping turtle there. Bass. I saw the carp. There's a big old bass right there. Ooh, big old fella. Alright, so let's crawl down through here and see about getting up in there. Didn't quite get my footing there. That's why this is more for kids. <laughs> yeah. So were you able to see anything when you were in there? Yeah, I got a better look at that big bass swimming around really? back there. Yeah. There was another snapping turtle. Okay, so this is just museum. Look at the. <laughs> Margarita chicken. We, we get chickens big devil eggs. It's a threshing machine. Threshing. All the old chains. Chains and drives on there. I would have loved to see this thing around.
So this would just like agitate the water here. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Well, see, that would ring it out. You see this little catch thing when you, you see it? Yeah. You stand here and rinse them too. Yeah. Yeah, to rinse them and then ring them. Yeah. Is that that's another ringing machine over there? Yeah, that is. Now try putting your hand in there. Uh, there's a lot of injuries like that, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Look at this one. Chuka, 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 chuka. Well, it's the next day now, Tuesday. I'm over here by the gate. Then that's because Malia <laughs> from Big Joe and Malia. She's not even coming here to enjoy the fair. I just brought dinner. She just stopped by to, to, to give me dinner. This, <laughs> this is hefty. <laughs> It's this, chicken and dumplings. This is deviled eggs. Dinner and, and then brownies. breakfast tomorrow morning That's as right. well. That's right. That's right. So deviled eggs, chicken and dumplings. Chicken and oh, wow. <laughs> and homemade brownies. Uh, all right. Well, Malia, <laughs> I hope you get a chance to come back oh, and we'll actually be back. enjoy the fair. Uh, there we are. I, I really appreciate you dropping. Well, you're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow though. Hey, uh, yeah. see ya. tomorrow's meatloaf day. Back at the booth now. We are. There's the brownies right there. Chicken and dumplings. Oh my goodness. Black pepper just spotting the top of it. That screams southern comfort food right there. Ooh, look at that. The perfect sprinkling of paprika across the top. Malia knows what she's doing. I'm surprised I'm not drawing like constantly right now with all the people here. Thankful to have a second to actually eat one of these. Skydivers leaving trails of smoke. Seven o'clock the next day now. <laughs> the rain finally stopped and Malia came out again. With dinner! <laughs> with, with dinner! With all this. It's uh, bacon wrap meatloaf day. Yes, mashed potatoes, steamed broccoli, and I brought cinnamon swirl bread and fruit and granola for breakfast tomorrow. I can't, I can't eat all of this. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> I have to spread it out somehow. And I've got to get your chuck working. Oh, that's okay. Back we'll get them, get them back. We'll get them back at some point. point. Yeah. <laughs> Just Just gather them all up. When are you actually going to come out and spend some time? Friday and Saturday, both. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, this wouldn't be a good day. No. It yeah. might even start raining again. It looks well, with Ian and Joe having to be up so early for school and work, it's just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's the bacon wraps meatloaf. It smells it, so good. I opened it up and I was like, oh my goodness. It didn't. It's Malia's so just laughing at me. <laughs> She's like, okay. All right, I'm going to dig into this. <laughs> Malia's little boy, Ian, actually sent this over. It's some fruit snacks and uh, Mario, or Nintendo shapes. Uh, specifically made sure that they were in there so that I would have them because he knows that I like Nintendo stuff. Love Nintendo. Let's see what shapes these are in. All right. Oh, now that's cool. Got a bunch of different... These are actually very detailed. Okay, so we got a Luigi, and of course Luigi's green. Red is Mario. The orange is Toad. And for some reason, the dark purple is uh, Koopa Troopa. I'm eat the Mario. Okay, that's the uh, cherry. I was thinking it was going to be strawberry, but that is definitely cherry. So what is the green? Is it going to be lime or is it going to be green apple? Or granny snooks. Lime. Definitely lime. The orange is probably orange. What is the blue? Or dark purple? Probably great. Right? Makes sense, right? 
You know, Yoshi swallows these things and then turns them into eggs or blows them out in different forms. Great. Yeah. It's delicious. Seems like anything, anything from Nintendo is just well done. They put a lot of work into their merchandise. Good, a lot of quality control in their merchandise, I should say. Even with the food. The Funnables. Funnables. So thank you, Ian. Nice little treat here at the end of the mail. Well, it's about five o'clock on Sunday now, and the fair's over. It ended yesterday on Saturday. So here we are, back out at the fairgrounds. I went on to church this morning, and then afterwards we had a little bit of an early Labor Day weekend uh, picnic for the church. And now I'm out here. Um, all of that stuff that we wanted to do on Saturday with all the YouTubers, uh, Big Joe and Malia, NTD, Scott from the Techno Hillbilly. Well, none of it happened. And I'm not sure exactly why. They may have been here and just come by and seen how busy I was. It was over the top busy at my booth. And maybe they just uh, went on and, and made their own videos and did something else. It was oppressively hot throughout the first part of the day and then my goodness, I got so slammed. But on a more positive note, it paid off. I once again get to do this. That's right, I dropped the marker. A big thank you going out to Malia for keeping me fed throughout the week. Thank you so very much, and I will have to wash all your Tupperware and get it back to you as soon as I can. But it's time to say goodbye to Great Tennessee in the 95th, can you believe it? The 95th Annual Appalachian Fair. Let's get this booth broke down, call it a day. Well, it's only a few hours later now. Did not rush on this one, I just took my time. But I am tired, and right there is where the booth was for the full six days straight. Now it's packed back into the back of the truck, and this one is done. Make sure to go ahead and give me the thumbs up, like button, leave some comments, and a little offer for you guys. For the price of a single click, you can have a full lifetime subscription to the Ashtoons channel. As long as this channel and YouTube exist, you will have that su subscription. All it costs is a single click, so consider it. And there's no risk to you. If at any point you decide that this channel sucks, you can always unsubscribe, which will also only cost you a single click. That's it for this one. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.